Hello! Thank you so much for joining or watching this Facebook Live video. Today we're going to be talking about three unique ways to personalize your wedding. We're not going to emphasize on the things that have already been done, even though they are good things. For example, you've probably seen a photo booth with um, the photos and at the bottom it's their name and date which is so cute and so fun and I love when uh, couples have that because then I get to take it home and post it on my bulletin board but it's already been done. Um, you've probably also seen uh, cute cookies that have the couple's name on them or really adorable signs that have their names and wedding date which is super fun because then you get to take it home. Or maybe you have seen a table with family photos or marriage photos from the past, um, from past generations, or engagement photos. Um, even having your dog in the wedding is super unique and fun and uh, helps you get to know the couple a little more. Or you might say, that is really those two. Look at that dog. So those are all great things to have in your wedding, but a lot of times brides want something that hasn't been done before. And you can go to two extremes. One, you can say, I want to do a wedding that no one has ever done. And you do weird things like have six cocktail hours or you serve, um, like super messy spaghetti and get it all over your dress. And you're like, this is unique. Not a good idea. Or you can do something that is super fun, really speaks to you too, but is kind of practical and not super messy like spaghetti. <laughs> all right, so our first unique way to personalize your wedding is through midnight snacks. Not just any midnight snacks, you've probably seen that before, but you choose your favorite snack ever and your fiance chooses their favorite snack ever. You put two bowls, big bowls out, other bowls for people to put the snacks in, put little cards that say Mr. and Mrs. or her favorite snack, his favorite snack, and if they don't have to go together. For example, you could do Swedish fish and Cheez-Its. Or my favorite is popcorn. Oh, I love popcorn so much. So I would do popcorn and then um, it could be anything else like goldfish or some sort of candy or maybe you love Jimmy John or uh, what are those sticks called that are like kind of like beef jerky something with Jimmy's, I don't know, um, those like beef jerky sticks. Uh, they don't have to match. They can just be super unique. And then people, as they're scooping up their snacks, either will be like, I didn't know that she loved these, or, oh my gosh, this is totally her. So that's a super fun way that everyone will remember, and it's fun and delicious. It's nice to have a snack after dinner because you're dancing the night away and probably drinking a lot, and it's good to have something to outweigh all the alcohol. So the second unique way to personalize your wedding is incorporate your first date into the wedding. For example, um, I had this couple that their first date was at the Botanic Gardens, and then they went to go eat Mexican food and went to Cold Stone. So their wedding was at the Botanic Gardens, and they had a caterer serve tacos. It was like this really cool taco bar with all these different toppings on it. And then Cold Stone actually came and served ice cream for dessert, um, along with some cupcakes. And that was just so adorable. It was super cute. And then on their programs, they wrote the story of their first date. And so when people um, were eating Mexican, their food, they're like, oh, yeah, this was their first date. Um, and it makes a little more sense than the randomness of tacos and ice cream, even though I don't think anyone was complaining about those foods. Um, you might have had a first date on the beach and had a picnic. 
there's totally ways that you can incorporate that into your wedding. Um, not if you're in Colorado, but if you are in another state where there's a beach. Um, I've seen really cool picnic ideas um, on Pinterest for your wedding. And so that would be really, really unique. Um, and then you have to either like have a sign or put it in the programs of like why you're doing this because otherwise people might not know. And it just makes it very um, cute and special when they understand why these things are being done. All right, so our third way to personalize your wedding is think local. For example, um, you've probably seen like local things like local foods and stuff like that, um, but it's not done that much. Uh, it's really cool. Like if you're having a mountain wedding, have food in Colorado, have foods that are Colorado grown at your wedding, but you can go even farther than this. For example, in your dessert bar, you could have uh, locally sourced honey sticks or chapstick that's made by someone local in your state for a guest as favor, especially in Colorado because it's so dry and you need chapstick. I always appreciate when that's at weddings. I'm like, oh, my lips are going to crack. Um, you could also, uh, for local, you could... If you love hiking, then you can be collecting rocks together as you two are hiking. And those rocks can be used as like place cards. You can find really cool Sharpie paints um, to write the names on there. Or if you're more in a beach location, you can collect seashells or starfish um or sand dollars and you can use those as either part of your decor or as place cards um maybe you turn those into jewelry for your bridesmaids um thinking local is a very good idea not just for the society and community but your guests will really appreciate that because you chose that venue for a reason um you chose the state for a reason um, and so let your guests know why you did this. All right, so our three ways to make your wedding unique is midnight snacks, your favorite and your fiance's favorite. Um, first date, incorporate the first time you met or your first date or maybe your engagement um, into your wedding. And the third one would be think local. You chose your venue, you chose your state for a reason let your guests know why. If you have any ideas or something that you have done that's unique and you maybe have never seen before or your guests really, really liked it, please let us know. Comment on either this video or on our Facebook page. We would love to know what you have done or what you're thinking for your wedding. We're also gonna be posting a blog either it's either scheduled for today or tomorrow about these so that you can read um, and about these uh, unique ideas if you want to come back to them. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see your post soon. Have a great day.